Okay, so listen. This guy named Toledo. Bro, absolutely fire video. The commentary, amazing. Anyways, we're gonna uh, watch this video. Absolutely fire, dude. In the VTuber industry and the community, being a black VTuber feels embarrassing. You can see Shizzy in the thumbnail. You got Shizzy here, you got me here. I'm be honest though, the thumbnail's crazy. We gotta, we gotta get this thumbnail fixed up a little bit. Let's watch this video chat. Let's talk about a problem that I have in the VTuber community. The fact that I'm black. I'll never forget when I was freaking by a racist. You are all breathtaking. That was an epic quote from George Floyd. Whoa, he's a monkey IRL too. Not one Yo, time. you remember that shit? Bro, I did a fucking body reveal. Two fucking minutes in, it just popped off and motherfucker said, whoa, he's a monkey IRL too. Excuse me? What? He's a monkey IRL too. Not wanting to draw characters that have darker skin tones. Black people, you all need a reason to be mad because life's too good for you. My nick Bro. Got a lot of sticks. Oh my god. Being black in the VTuber community feels horrendous. The concept of VTubing is sick because the options of how you present yourself are limitless. You can be an anime elf, Shiba dog, a narwhal, a demon girl, an AI, a piece of sh I'm not kidding. You can VTube as a piece of sh <laughs> you can present yourself any way as a VTuber. This don't just apply to people who want to act as anime characters with different virtual sonas. This also can apply to people who are Shizzy! Hella unrepresented, such as black people. But damn, with the way some people in the scene be acting, my people be getting their ass beat daily. So somebody gotta call it out. It's me. I'm somebody. The black VTuber experience is weird. There's a lot of racism in this field. Many conditions make it difficult for black VTubers in general to get a out. A lot. Oh no, the light is complete my woke SJW nonsense. I don't care. I'm black, y'all. It's my month. Just continue watching this in February. Get some snacks get some water get your favorite boondocks clip and let's get into the video absolutely fire editing off rip bro the root the anime community i talked about this a few times on uh on a twitch stream probably like in the past we had a whole podcast about this man i love it because this is like a nice structured 11 minute video and it gets to the problem quickly the VTuber sphere combines two cultures, idol culture and anime culture. While we could Eesh. go into idol culture in another video, let's glance over the anime community. And Jesus Christ, they treat black people like trash! Black cosplayers get harassed for cosplaying characters. Black voice actors get harassed and called slurs for voicing and ruining anime characters. You make black edits of anime characters for inclusion? Low to your god yourself. Let me whitewash you personally. I'm not even kidding, there's an entire account that's just dedicated to this. And don't get me started on K-On profile pic! I love K-On and I don't know what it is with that show, but if you like K-On, there's like a 70% chance you've stayed the phrase this might make 90% of the population black people make up. Or you're just a not. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about how K on a super wholesome show has a bunch of bigots on Twitter and I was called slurs and a baboon. Like, look at, look at this. This is not me calling every anime fan racist, but some of y'all need to be checked. Racism's a big issue there. And since the VTuber community takes direct inspiration from anime, the VTuber fan base has the same problem. Time to go over what it's like being a black VTuber. Go for it. The treatment that black VTubers get. Peace trash. I'm playing, bro. This, it, it, it's actually ass. It's like black <laughs> Players, actors, and artists, black VTubers get harassed, attacked, and bothered just for being black and expressing themselves for anything. And when I say for anything, I mean anything. Kenji commented on racial experiences in the VTuber community. People called him racist because some people genuinely thought he was white due to his model, despite being mixed with black, white, and Puerto Rican blood. Holy shit, finally someone gets it. No, 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 listen to this. Man posted a body reveal looking fine as hell, and someone called him a monkey IRL too. You can't make that up. If the time was there, that shit would say two minutes ago, and my post would say one. Instantly, I sped run getting called a monkey. I almost felt like I was in a Call of Duty lobby bro what the fuck i'm just saying imagine saying some real racist shit before you even debut <laughs> bitch is pre-debut talking crazy just imagine that shit would have got an audience i am being dead ass here Sizzy, also known as the god posted a clip of his twitch on twitter bro imagine getting quote retweeted with someone calling you this unprovoked bro unprovoked this is how disgusting the anime community is and we just gonna be like oh no i don't know what you're talking about racism doesn't exist they apologize and I don't know how this this feels like you're just calling me the hard R. Anyway, support this video by subscribing to the chat. Kami Umai called out a VTuber for calling one of his friends the hard R in VR chat. The crazy thing is this VTuber had the handle attached to their account. He lost the security allegations. You know what? She thought she thought she could get away with it in VR chat. That's I'm gonna be honest, all the VR chat bitches be doing, I swear to God. It's the only personality they have. It's just racism and fucking trash ass memes. What this girl did instead of disappearing or making an apology, she made a new account and retweeted it. I just don't understand this. 
This is to know we talk about how there aren't many live 2D assets for black VTubers, which is just fact. Since most VTubers aren't black, there aren't many assets that fit our race. And it's already hard enough for black VTubers to get black models. To Bro, when I, let me tell you this. First of all, I wasn't even supposed to have Kenji. This was, this was not supposed to be my mob. Well, obviously not this one, this, ooh. But the fucking, the normal model was not supposed to be my model chat. I was supposed to have a fucking model that looked like me, okay? Curly fucking hair, looking light skin, all sexy and shit, you feel me? I couldn't find an artist that could do my hair. And if I showed you the initial concepts of Kenji, he's not even supposed to be this white. If you look at the initial concepts of Kenji, that motherfucker was like, at least a little light. He went out in the sun just a little bit. I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, I don't know, bro. Due to lack of artists doing it. Many artists don't draw black VTubers due to unwillingness or a sense of fear. For people who want to hear more about this topic, Evan made like a really solid video discussing how black VTubers struggle to even step foot in the industry. So check out his video. I'll eat your Cheetos, bro. I'll eat them all. But yeah, people completely misrepresent his intention and assume that black people were white and calling artists racist when they were just wanting things to be more available. Well, I'm blue and I don't have assets. What, what awareness equating black people to non-human skin. Give this dude a quick time event. Everybody agreed that segregation was the... Boom, <laughs> this again, this video is so well made. I gotta hop in a call with him and be like, teach me your ways, King. It's so good, chat. Cup jokes around black people in slavery. Y'all too comfortable. Do not tell African-American VTubers to make themselves white. It's already hard enough for them to get black models. Let us be black in peace. Black VTubers have an issue with a non-POC using black models, claiming black as a commodity, and joining black servers as they present themselves as black while not being black. Well, thanks she on the team. VTuber fans respond <laughs> by making monkey edits of said black VTubers. I can't do this anymore. Blackface VTuber. Jesus. Ah. Hey, God dang. Blackface VTuber. Jesus. <laughs> Let me tell y'all about how this VTuber rebranded got out of for sexual harassment and transphobia alongside blackface, got put onto a VTuber blacklist, and still got picked up by a talent group. We do not care. Explain that to me! You make it make sense! Black female VTubers getting called dark chocolate against their boundaries. Black VTubers getting racist edits. Black VTubers getting bot raids. Please just heal me. We ain't even talk about the VTubers being dumb yet. I thought angels didn't have any more years of their lives to lose, and I'm losing so many already. Y'all play too much about race. The Bible states that there are three types of VTubers. The soft, woo-woo, wholesome VTuber. Known for good vibes in a welcoming community. The loud and chaotic VTuber. Known for them funny clips. And Jimmy! Awkwardness. And the third. The joke is racism. Like, what is this? What the heck is this? Some people Literally. be doing mad shade around black people's experiences and saying the wildest things. I had a quarter for VTubers that made jokes about black dudes suffocating the cops. That was an epic quote from George Floyd. I, mean, I don't know what he's doing, right? Imagine just opening right? I was like, I'll take you. You can't make th like this is this is actual people. I think I genuinely think people just start doing this stupid shit, saying whatever the fuck they want because they have the amenity of like the V2 model. You feel me? Like I feel like since they're hiding their true identity, they don't give a fuck. It's it's honestly irritating. But like, what can you do? If anything, honestly. If any of those clips fucking pop up on Twitter, you're gonna see fucking comments like, oh, based, oh my God, based my queen. Fucking little sweaty nerds that never left the fucking basement. You remember that 4chaner that got fucking um, arrested for saying like, I'm gonna kill this cop in Minecraft? That's how all those motherfuckers look, bro. I swear to God, all of them. Oh my God, I have my anime base queen. Like fuck out of here, dude, fucking loser. <laughs> You know what takes my breath away? This girl's track record. I cause problems in this book. Sorry, not based <laughs> Mark enough Phillips. for you? How about VTuber says the hard R while freestyling? Oh, 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 oh. That, that sounded bad. I've analyzed this clip more times than I can count. How does the hard R come out accidentally from violin? I'm racist. I'm racist. That Never mind, understandable. Have a nice day. In all honesty, <laughs> it's become a huge part of everyone's vernacular here. So even I struggle to keep from saying it on screen. Don't say it. Is this nigga serious or what? <laughs> Some VTubers <laughs> let the N-word slip and then others just be phrasing it directly. Like, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, let me mention it again. Blackface VTuber. Mike Tyson was right. Social media made y'all way too comfortable with disrespecting people and not getting puns for it. Facts! I slammed these little bugs. Oh, yo, on, er on everything I love, if there was a boxing VTube league that was made, like you manually had to sign up to be a VTuber and you had to box to be a VTuber, no one would be talking out their neck because I promise I'm throwing hands at these motherfuckers. They're getting their ass whooped, buddy. 
me be clear, they really don't care. The girl who let the hard R slip, she apologizes. You think that'd be how it ends? Then you catch her in 4K liking comments calling her fun and based. Isn't that some shit? Wow. We do not care. And these VTuber fans eat this up. Base, 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 base. That part. We do not care. But when a VTuber gets called out for racism? Now, <laughs> I'm really mad. <laughs> You as a black people don't like when non-black people step over their <laughs> bounds and say dumb shit? You stupid, sensitive PC snowflake. That's literally what that fucking screenshot was. Buns boy me, Bob. There's a formula here. Some VTuber does something stupid related to race. Black people explain why it's not okay. And the VTuber community calls us haters, jealous, or snowflakes for calling it out. Saying slurs? She can Blackface? <laughs> <laughs> Treatment gets so bad that token black VTubers just go in to appease the crowd. Then someone just straight up races the black people. This dude made four separate videos barely on black VTubers, created monkey edits of them, and whitewashed George Floyd posts. Jesus, Look, I try to be open. Hell, I'm even open to the non-black model topic for debate. Bro, he's just a leafy wannabe that hates his own race. Yikes. And the VTuber drama channels are crazy. Good thing I don't cover VTuber drama. Oh wait, serious time though. There's a <laughs> lot of underhanded racism in this beer, and the worst part is us fellas just gotta deal with it. This is just ignore it. The internet's the internet. No one's forcing them or holding them at gunpoint. Except for me, brother. You ain't invited to the cookout. You find you there, we're gonna give you the most well done steak at the event. Every time it gets more cooked, you hear that? <laughs> Make so well done saying congratulations. Honestly, if you ain't in POC and you're making a joke about race, just make the joke bang or actually funny. Some y'all just try way too hard on being edgy. Anyway, there's one more thing to talk about and it's... Corporate VTuber problem! I'm gonna make this point brief. I don't want this to be me attacking or shaming these agencies, but it'd be pretty cool to see more black representation than corpse. And saying that makes people mad for some reason. VTubing has the appeal of playing a personification of yourself or an original character in the virtual media. So seeing a VTuber that makes you go, She just like me for real! Makes you feel pretty good when you don't see yourself often in it. And there ain't much of that on the corporate side. People always point out two dark-skinned VTubers and say, There's your black VTuber. Yes. Don't get me wrong, Aragami Oga and Tsukomo Sana, who unfortunately graduated, are amazing talents, but damn, that's like two brown talents compared to hundreds and hundreds of agency VTubers? Probably thousands. Why would the anime community get mad at black people wanting more representation? They'd be like, oh, but what about these characters? Okay, <laughs> how many are characters of racist stereotypes? How many are one-off characters with no significance? How many are actually black? Shout out to Mika though, my favorite gay goat, watch this anime. And I can't believe I'm about to say this. Yo, and the proclaimed cleanest white person is Niji Sanji's black VTuber. Say? Look, yo, I love your content. <laughs> He's entertaining as hell, but if Niji Sanji falls over and you're still uh... labeled Niji Sanji's black VTuber, I'm ending it again. <laughs> Ah! I think Toledo here. I'm seeing people mention Flair and Scar when the topic of black corporate VTubers appear. Flair is tan. Scar is Latina. That's great, but don't call those people black. Y'all just go up to any person with pigmentation and just ask them what their favorite barbecue rub is? I hope to God you don't. And since we're in the topic of Scar, y'all remember her being whitewashed during her debut week? There's just an agency nice. problem with melanin in general. So yeah, more representation would be pretty poggers. But what about the indie scene? How many black VTubers off the top of your head made it? Why, is there a decent amount of this video? Not many might come to your head as a major. But as I do my thing of talking trash and causing chaos, I want to support my bros doing their thing too. So yeah, support your fellas. Uh, don't be doing dumb things about race and, I don't know, give me your potatoes that's what it's like being a black vtuber <laughs> fire bro such a good video i still love vtubers in this community it's an amazing medium to express yourself and find a platform to do your thing it's given many individuals no matter what crap stacked against them the opportunity to establish themselves in this world so we gotta give it credit being able to express yourself that's me your character or find your life that's me as avatar in many ways that you can't do it's as a me VTuber is an amazing experience but with the medium you love if you see problematic stuff as much as i meme it call it out bro i'm still mad about the shizzy bit if the term Tuber ever picks up, I'm causing more problems. If the community can effectively address its treatment, improve its resources, and support those affected, VTubing can become far more welcoming for other newcomers. Until then, while this community is fighting the racism allegations, help me fight the algorithm allegations. If you got this far, thank you for watching your local fallen angel. Smash the like button, subscribe, because it really helps out, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to be open on this, because voices are valid, but just, just don't be dumb or make racist Crazy. edits like this. Also, follow my Twitch, because I am actively failing the consistent streamer allegations. I think it's hard, okay? I like making videos about trivial nonsense. <laughs> not my fault anyway he out of this uh see you next time absolutely amazing video bro amazing video 10 out of 10 w video w video w video w video fucking fire holy shit amazing w vid chat w vid yes sir